The potential for clean electricity production from ocean winds is almost unlimited. Building large-scale power plants at sea is a huge challenge, and it all starts at the port. The foundations for the wind turbines consist of two pieces, 10-story high metal tubes called monopiles, and yellow transition pieces which are placed atop of them. Loading the installation vessel with this giant cargo requires precision and experience. Once at the site, the ship lowers its legs until it stands firm on the sea floor. The crane lifts the monopile into place before driving it deep into the seabed. A transition piece is placed on top of the monopile. It will provide a solid base for the turbine and serves as platform for technicians arriving by boat. With the foundations in place, the ship returns to port to pick up the wind turbine components. State-of-the-art installation vessels can load four complete 8 megawatt class wind turbines. That's four towers, 12 rotor blades and four nacelles which have been pre-assembled on land to reduce time spent at sea. Under ideal conditions, it will take just 24 hours to load all four turbines onto the ship. Specially designed fixtures and sea fastenings ensure they arrive safely at the site. As wind turbines develop and especially grow in size, equipment related to all aspects of them also need to be developed. That's why Siemens Gamisa developed a lifting yoke with automatic connections. The crew can move large components like this tower via remote control from the safety of the ship's deck. Once the tower is in place, it's time to install the turbine housing, known as a rotor hub and nacelle. Each nacelle hosts the generator and all the other electrical components which will transform the kinetic energy in the wind into electricity. Even in high winds, the technicians on deck are in complete control of the components at all times. They can install the nacelle safely in less than two hours. Now it's time for the three rotor blades. These giants measure 81 meters long each, or roughly the same size as the wingspan of an Airbus A380, the world's largest passenger jet. As the enormous blade draws level with the nacelle, the technicians make the last adjustments. The blade docks smoothly and safely. With technicians working almost exclusively from the deck of the ship, installation can continue at wind speeds of up to 12 meters per second, which compares to a wind speed of 6 on the Beaufort scale. With this, a new offshore wind turbine can be installed in a single day. Over the following weeks, technicians connect the cables and thoroughly test all the turbines in the wind power plant. Once the power plant goes into operation, the wind turbines feed into a single offshore substation. The substation transports the energy to shore via high voltage cables from where it supplies the onshore grid. Each 8 megawatt Siemens Gamesa offshore wind turbine can supply more than 8,000 average European households with clean, renewable energy.